Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. Just wanted to make sure you guys saw my Christmas shirt. I hope you guys have had a great week. Today we will keep this video short as I do have some festivities to get to. So let's dive right into this analysis today. We have officially broken out here, guys. Remember, we spoke about the falling wedge on Monday's or Friday's video, one of them. And now we can see the clear breakout like we spoke about and now continuing up. So this has been a beautiful move, a beautiful breakout. Not only have we broken out here on this pattern, we've also broken out on the RSI, which is very good news. The next break that we will be watching for is 52,000, which is the same level right here. That will give us a new high ever since we had this initial flash drop, uh, flash crash here. That should push the market up at least to this level right here. That's right around that 54 to $55,000 area. And our price target for this breakout using the falling wedge theory is right around this level. It's between 54 to $55,000. So that's basically the next level that we're watching for as we expect this to continue to the upside. Although it is possible for a retest of the breakout area, it is not likely usually. Remember that we spoke about the 50 week moving average that we had closed below it last week. Well, guess what, guys? We got a big green candle just like we spoke about on Friday, on Monday's video. Remember, we told you guys that last time that we broke below the 50 week, we had one big green candle that was 11 percent move up. Guess what, guys? We have a 9 percent move up so far, and it could be more over the weekend. And also check this out. Remember we showed you guys previously four of our favorite indicators that have historically called the top. Well, here's one of those indicators that also has historically been very precise in calling the bottom and when to buy Bitcoin again. So this is the indicator here. It's called the advanced NVT signal indicator. But we're going to look at this one as it is a little bit more clear here and it's already done um, as far as what it's done historically. This one's from Wunamic. So you see that this signal has called the top and bottoms correctly 16 out of 18 times. So only two times has this signal been incorrect. You'll see one time was back in 2011 and a second time back in 2018. So you'll see here that the last time that it called was uh, during the May, June, July drop where it kind of gave us that buy signal at the bottom right before the entire market went right back up and set new all-time highs. Before that, it had given the sell signal back in, it looks like around January, February, um, right before that drop off there. You can see that we had, remember that drop uh, I think it was after January that we had a big dip. Then it continued up. But even though it continued up, it got right back into that sell area. And um, even though it told you to sell probably a little bit early, it did call it because soon after that, um, we had the huge drop in May. So we are now once again in that buy area. Now, the only thing to be wary of is that the two incorrect signals that it sent here what they were buy signals here buy and buy and those signals came after a basically blow off top which i believe we have not seen yet that's why i think that um this is the buy signal for that blow off the top for this uh bull cycle so if you add that up with all the divergences that we have been seeing in the market guys we can only go up from here I am prepared. I hope you guys are prepared for this next leg up and what I will call a Santa rally, at least for the rest of this week and the rest of this month. So if I'm looking for trades here, I'm basically going to be looking for a breakout above 52,000 as my breakout trade entry on any pullbacks. I'm looking back at $50,000 for that bounce entry. Those are the two setups that I am watching uh, going into the weekend. Now, when can these happen? They could honestly happen at any time. Who knows? But if I had to kind of put a prediction on it, I would say that we probably see low volumes tonight, um, probably see low volumes tomorrow. And then Sunday will be the day after Christmas. Maybe as uh, the futures market opens up, 
Sunday going into Monday, it could be a day that we see a move in the market. So that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. Finally, a move up. And as we get closer and closer to closing out 2021, I just want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. We recently hit 13,000 subscribers. That is huge for us, guys. I think we did over 10,000 subscribers this year. And we're excited for what's to come in the new year in 2022. So guys, be safe out there. Again, I appreciate you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. I'll see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.